At its peak in 2014, stock ticker DISH, known as Dish Network Corporation, had a market cap of nearly $35 billion. As little as 10 years ago, Dish was one of the nation's largest satellite TV providers, servicing over 14 million subscribers. Fast forward to today, Dish Network's pay TV subscriber count has been slashed to nearly 9 million, and its market cap sits at just under $2 billion. Dish could ironically face the same fate as one of its more famous bankruptcy acquisitions, Blockbuster. Despite the stock being down over 70% year-to-date, some investors remain optimistic for the legendary satellite TV provider. During the summer of 2023, Dish gained a bit of traction on Reddit, with some users stating it had the potential for a short squeeze. The stock did advance from $6 in May to around $8.75 in early August. Since then, the momentum has died back down, with the stock now trading under $4. At this time, I wouldn't say there is a lot of chatter on Reddit about Dish, and I definitely wouldn't count Reddit threads as due diligence, but let's see what some Redditors had to say. From the bear side, they're cheap because paid TV is losing customers. They will never have more customers again, and hence the price of the stock is cheap, along with the valuation. Another said Dish Network is a trash company, and anyone who invests in it is an idiot. And now from the bull side, the stock Dish is pretty cheap right now. 485 as of this post seems undervalued to me for this company. Another said, Yeah, Dish, everyone's talking smack, but they have a bunch of catalysts ahead, are trading below 30 on almost every RSI, have cash for years, and some of the best satellite tech and partnerships in the world. 91 short squeeze score right now, it's setting up just like AMC and GameStop, but it's a much better company. Fair value on three different estimates is almost $20 per share. I personally think you could build a strong case for both sides here. On one hand, Dish is losing massive amounts of subscribers every year, and it is true that more and more households are opting for streaming services and ditching cable and satellite TV. This is why we should quit cable and just go to streaming services. Oh, you want quantity over quality? Streaming services are destroying our town! I think one of the main reasons Dish is trading so low is because the market is pricing in further declines in subscriber count and revenue. On the other hand, Dish is trying to diversify their business model to keep up with the times. How are they attempting to diversify? Well, let's look at an upcoming catalyst that has some investors going all in. On August 8th, Dish and Echo Star Corporation, stock ticker SATS, announced an all-stock merger at a fixed exchange ratio. EchoStar stockholders will receive 2.85 shares of both Dish Network Class A common stock and Class B common stock for each share of EchoStar Corporation common stock owned. The beauty of this merger is that the exchange ratio represents a 12.9% premium for EchoStar stockholders as of July 5th. Okay, that's cool, but what's in it for Dish shareholders? Well, one of the key benefits of this merger is that Dish will gain access to the substantial cash reserves of $1.7 billion held by EchoStar. Okay, everybody just calm down. We're not gonna go crazy spending our winnings and we're not gonna let this money change us. What are you talking about? This money is our ticket to the good life, starting now. The deal is also a bit of a reunion because Dish spun off Echo Star in 2008. The merger combines Dish Network satellite technology, streaming services, and nationwide 5G network with Echo Star's satellite communication solutions, creating a self-proclaimed global leader in terrestrial and non-terrestrial wireless connectivity. The merger is also expected to reduce costs and revenues will synergize. The deal hasn't been finalized yet, but the merger is expected to be finalized by the end of the year pending regulatory approvals and customary closing conditions. Upon completion, existing Dish Network shareholders will own about 69% of the newly merged company, and existing Echo Star shareholders will only own around 31%. But will this be enough to give Dish Network a much needed boost in growth? Well, if you're considering investing in Dish, it would be wise to review the fundamentals of both Echo Star and Dish, since a merger is likely in the very near future. The PS, POCF on both Dish and Echo Star are historically low. PE is historically low for Dish, and for Echo Star, it's about average. Revenue, operating income, net income, and net margin have been declining for both companies during the last two years. Echo Star does look to be in a better position financially with $1.5 billion in debt and $2 billion cash on hand. Dish, on the other hand, has $20 billion in debt and only $1 billion cash on hand. So even if both companies merge, 
Dish's ability to pay interest on its debt over time is still a major risk factor to consider. And as always, along with fundamentals, you should also consider the risks of investing. Usually there are known risks, but there are also unknown risks. For example, Dish received a historic fine from the Federal Communications Commission for failing to dispose of a dead satellite. It was the first fine issued of its kind ever. The fine was only $150,000, which may seem like a drop in the bucket to a billion dollar company, but as space regulations change, Fines like this are a risk to keep in mind. Companies can endure financial distress from lawsuits and fines. Another event that could trigger lawsuits and fines stems from earlier this year. Boost Mobile, a subsidiary of Dish Network, faced disruptions due to a significant ransomware attack. This incident led to internal outages and data theft. Customers experienced difficulties reaching customer service and making payments. The outage affect users nationwide, with normal service taking two months to restore. Personally, I'm not going to be investing in Dish at this time. However, if I were to invest, I'd keep my losses tight. Yes, PE is at a historic low. However, this metric by itself doesn't really paint the full picture. I'd rather see at least two quarters of earnings reports after the merger. That said, the average analyst price target right now is $6.40, which is significant from where Dish is trading now. Although, I will say the PT has declined significantly from $20 earlier this year and could continue to cut in the future. I'm not sure what the squeeze score is, but over 20% of the float is sold short, which is a bit high. Anything over 20% can indicate bearish sentiment. Well, that's all I have for today. Shout out to William for suggesting today's video. If you have a stock you'd like me to cover next, leave a comment and let me know your thoughts on Dish. If you made it this far, science says you'll probably like my other videos. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.